friends welcome to damo education if not yet subscribe please subscribe and hit the bell icon so in this model we're going to start our next exercise that is first question what is that take any three consecutive odd numbers and find their product so here what is the first consecutive odd numbers for example 1 into 3 into 5 so they are given example that is 1 into 3 into 5 that is 15 then after that, they are given another example, 3 into 5 into 7, that is 1 out 5. So, consecutive means beside numbers, that is adjacent numbers, that is 5 into 7 into 9. So, 7 into 9, what we can say, 7 into 9 is, so 5, 7, so 35, then, so 35 into 9, so what is that, 350. So, for this, is there any pattern, can you guess in the sums? So, any pattern is there, what can you conjecture about them? So, as it is pattern is there, what is that? Odd numbers, right? For that odd numbers, the pattern will be always 2n plus 1 into 2n plus 3 into 2n plus 5. So, here n is since n values are 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So, if you substitute here 0 in this value, then what we will get it here is, so we will get the 1, so 2 into 0 plus 1 into 2 into 0 plus 3 into 2 into 0 plus 5. So, that is 2 0 is 0 plus 1 into here are 2 0 is 0 plus 3 is 3 into 5. So, we have got in the first ones. So, is there any conjectures? Yes, you can say here conjecture. What is that here is? Let us take here. We are getting that 15, 1 out 5 all that. So, possible conjectures. Let us take first conjecture for this is. The product of any three consecutive odd numbers is odd. So, what you can write? The product of, so if you multiply three consecutive numbers, product of three consecutive, so consecutive odd numbers, odd numbers is odd. So, if you multiply the odd numbers, consecutive odd numbers, the product also we are getting 105, that is 315, 15. So, that is odd number. Next conjecture. The product of any three consecutive odd numbers is divisible by 3. So, what you can write it here is the product of, say this is product of three consecutive odd numbers is divisible by, divisible by 3. So, how you can say here is divisible by 3 means, so 15. So, 15 means 1 plus 5, 6 by 3, 3 ones are then 3 twos are. Then if you add all the digits, then what we will get? 1 out 5. If you add all the digits, we are getting 6 by 3. So if that sum is divisible by 3, so the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3, then the given number is divisible by 3. So that is the divisibility rule of 3. So 3 plus 1 plus, right? 3 plus 1 plus 5. So 3 plus 1 and 4, 4 plus 5 will be 9. 9 by 3, 3 ones are then 3, 3 are. Thus the sum is divisible by 3 means that is also 3, 15 is also divisible by 3. Next conjecture, what you can take it here is the sum of all the digits. The sum of all the digits present in the product of 3 consecutive odd numbers is in even. So sum of, uh, what you can write? Sum of 3 consecutive digits, sum of the digits present in so, sum of the digits in the product, in the product of consecutive odd numbers, product of consecutive odd numbers, consecutive odd numbers is, what you can write it here is, odd numbers is even. So, you can write like that. Even means, let us write here, what you can write it here is, 1 plus 5. The sum of all the digits present in the product of 3 consecutive is even. So, 1 plus 5 will be equal to what is that? So, that is 6 and 1 out 5 6. So, here we will get like that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. So, our next question is that first one, what they are given? Take any 3 consecutive even numbers and add them. So, they are given that 2 plus 4 plus 6 will be equal to 12. Then 4 plus 6 plus 8. So, these are the consecutive even numbers which we will going to add. Then 6 plus 8 plus after 8, 10 will be. That is 24. Then again, they are given so many problems like that. Is there any pattern? Yes, it is a one pattern is there. It is a multiple of 2. So, let us take 2n. Then 2 into n plus 1. Then 2 into n plus 2. So, this is the pattern they are going to add. So, what they will do here is, let us go into add 2n plus 2 into n plus 1 plus 2 into n plus 2. 
So n will start from 1 since n will start 1, 2, 3 and all natural numbers. So let us substitute here 2 into 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 2. So 2 ones are 2 plus 2 plus 2 twos are 4. So here 2 into 2 plus 2 into 3. So that is 2 plus 4 plus 6. What we are getting? 12. So yes, we are got it the pattern here. Then this is the way to find. So what are the conjectures you can make it? So the sum of any three consecutive numbers is always even. So here, what is the sum here? The sum of what you can write it? So we can write it the sum of three consecutive even numbers. So sum of what you can say here is sum of the consecutive even numbers as always even is always even. So why because here 12, 18, 24 all are even numbers. Next what you can say here is the sum of what you can write the sum of any three consecutive numbers always divided by three. So 12, 18, 24, these are all the multiples of the, the sum of three consecutive numbers, three consecutive numbers, even numbers, sorry, even numbers is divisible by, is divisible by three, divisible by three. Then third conjecture you can say, how you can say here is, the sum of this consecutive numbers is divisible by both. Why? Because it is even. So even always divisible by 2. So the sum of 3 consecutive even numbers, sum of the number is divisible by 6. Divisible by 6. How means it is divisible by both? Divisible by both 2 and 3. So already it is divisible by this are all the multiples of 3. So it is already divisible by 3. Then what is that here? Here it is a even. Then what you can say? This is also divisible by 2. So the numbers which will divisible by 2 are called even numbers. So for that it is divisible by 6. You can write it as 2 into 3. So 2 and 3 are the two factors. In order to divisible by 6, we need to divisible by both 2 and 3. For that we can say like this. So this is the way to write the conjectures and some statements regarding that satisfy the given problem. So like this we need to find. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.